Travel Recontour, welcome back to the channel. It's January 2022, and as promised, this is part two of Rayon. Hope you enjoyed the last video I did, and all the updates on Pattaya and the bars. Well, many places here in Rayon are closed, as you can see here on the left hand side, all the shutters are down. Still no tourists, but in Pattaya, Beach Road. Places are starting to open up and there's more and more opening up every day. But unfortunately, even some of the big ones have gone bust and they won't be opening their doors. And the same for places like in Soy 6 and Soy 7. Uh, not sure what's going on there, but as soon as I find out a bit more, I will let you know. All this stuff here, all these goodies, and there's no one here to buy it except for a few locals. This is quite good, isn't it? I'm not sure what that is. Halls. They've been going for some years. Yeah, there's a lot of collector's items here, I noticed, on this floating market. Well, it's a sort of a floating market. A lot of old stuff here. Toothbrushes, toothpaste. Nothing's got any prices on there. Like I said, a lot of this is old vintage stuff. But you can negotiate a price, I'm sure. If this is uh, of an interest to you. Somebody's gone to a lot of trouble collecting all this lot by the looks of it. It's not my cup of tea, this sort of stuff. But there again. I know a few antique dealers that would be interested in an Orvis lot. Quite fascinating though. Right, let's go on a little bit further. Right, this is just outside and there's um, a little bit of shipping out there I see. I think that's the uh, boats that actually bring your fuel in. Right, this is where I'm having something to eat. It's quite nice. Again, very sticky here today, 34 degrees. So it's time for a little bite to eat and a nice drink, I think. As you can see around, everyone's got a mask on. Here's my food. Isn't this nice? That's what I'm making you hungry now. Some of it's spicy. Some of it's not, but it's cheap, that's the main thing. You'd be surprised what you can get here for 40 to 100 baht. And you'd be left full up, that's for sure. It's all well cooked. But even in these eating places, as you can see around in a minute, people are wearing masks. But it's still quite quiet. As you can see here, everyone's got masks on. Everyone's a little bit cautious. Look at this. Having my meal and I'm looking out onto the sea. Absolutely blue, gorgeous. Few clouds in the sky, but no rain clouds. Absolutely lovely. The sea's a little bit choppy. Did you see that? But it's nice. A little bit of wind here today. This is Rayon. So yeah, well worth checking out. Yeah, this is where the tankers go across that bring the fuel into Thailand. A few people are on a beach with a kite. It's not very sandy here. There's a lot of big rubble and rocks. There's a little bit of sand area. But it's nice, it really is. And because all the tourists haven't come back, it's very peaceful, I can tell you. Just how I like it. It's just not overpopulated at the moment. I have seen a few tourists about, but mainly ties, to be honest with you. And this is the uh, surrounding area. Plenty of overhead cables, just like Pattaya. Many of the cables now in Pattaya have been removed now, we put them underground. I'll get you some footage in another video. 
Well, I don't know what we're doing here. Doing some maintenance. This is a scaffolding. Do you see that? It's all wooden. Wooden scaffolding tied together with ropes. You wouldn't get away with that in England with health and safety, I can tell you. But out here, this is what you see. This is like bits of stick from a tree, all tied together. And then they walk on it. Just goes to show the difference between two countries. We have steel scaffolding in England. Here they have wooden scaffolding. This is quite nice. Looks like they're renovating all this up. I'm not sure what the hotel's called. But it looks a nice one. As it looks all over the sea. So if you're looking for some accommodation here in Rayon. Maybe well worth checking this out. I've noticed there's quite a lot of shipping containers coming in. See these here in the distance? They're all bringing in fuel. And fuel's very cheap here compared to England and other countries. But not a lot of sand as you can see. Alright, let's go on a little bit further. I don't know what the skull and crossbones are here for. There's a nice little bit of area here on the beach, but it's very tiny and small. They are. A bit of a sandy area. We can come here with a nice ice cold beer, chill out and not be disturbed by anyone. Isn't that nice? You have to come to Thailand for this. And if you look in the distance, you can see where it gets deeper. It's a bit grey at the beginning, and then as soon as it starts to go a deeper colour blue, that's where it starts to get really deep. And there's quite a few uh, shipping uh, boats coming in with fuel, I notice. It's obviously part of a shipping lane, I think, further out. In this nice right there. It's like unspoiled. The roads at the moment are very quiet, by the way. There's hardly any cars on the road. Just a few ties. You can still hire motorbikes and cars, but they're struggling at the moment because all the ties have got their own transport and all the stuff that's on hire is for the tourists. And as there's not many tourists, they're not going to hire much out. I it's nice along here. Look at those waves. So it's a little bit choppy here today. I mean, some days you can get the sea and it's so calm it hardly moves but well, here in rayon it's a little bit choppy as you can see yeah so it's well worth visiting somewhere to put on your bucket list if you've not checked rayon out and if you've got an interest in vintage items you can get everything here i don't know what else there is here hope you enjoyed all the temple videos i did uh, that's what I've hired a little Suzuki Swift it's not bad gets me about from A to B so it's not expensive for uh, car hire I think this one was about £8 a day in English money so it's not a lot between 8 and 12 quid a day you can get a hire car for so there you go, it's not dear, around 500, 600 or 700 baht a day. Right, we're going on the road here. This leads us back to Pattaya. I've noticed that they've put some more bridges over now and they're doing all this road up here. There's an old road and there's a new road. So we're uh, actually doing a lot of our work on these roads. This road takes you back to Pattaya. There's not a lot here to see on the side of the road. Some massive signs there. There's lots of little places like that. You can just pop in and have a beer and something to eat. 
As you can see, there's not a lot of traffic on the roads. It's quite quiet. So it'll be interesting when all these roadworks are all done. Well, I hope you like these videos and a little bit of footage I've got for you of Rayon. As I said, I'm heading back to Pattaya now and I will be getting you some footage of Jom Tien Beach and other places around Pattaya with some updates for you on what's happening on the bars and the go-go bars and maybe some of the restaurants as well. That will be coming shortly in another video. Again, I hope you all had a good Christmas and you didn't get too drunk for the new year. Time's going very fast now. High season for January 2022. It's got to be better than it was last year. Very hit and miss. Anyway, this is Travel Rick saying bye for now and I'll see you very soon in another video. Please subscribe if you haven't. Give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. And I will see you soon. Stay safe. Bye.